Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I have a few MC edit filters floating around that I've written that I just haven't made a video about. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five filters that you can download. Uh, of course, there's a link in the video description for each of them if you'd like to download them and try them out. Uh, the first filter will be one that can fill in text in signs. So if you have a paragraph of text, it'll fill them in. What's with all this blinking? Must be a bug. Uh, the second filter will find and replace text, so we're going to change these from Notch's chest and furnace into Seth Bling's chest and furnace. The third filter will actually write code. It will take an entity or a tile entity and basically write all the Python code necessary to recreate it uh, within an MC edit filter. Uh, the fourth entity is simple, it's just going to tell you what coordinates you're at in MC edit. And the fifth filter we're going to use to turn all of the structures in this village upside down. That one's kind of a silly one, but I think it's kind of cool. All right, we're going to head into MC Edit now and actually apply those filters. All right, and here we are in MC Edit. You can see all the same stuff here. Uh, the first filter I'm going to show you is that sign filter. To fill in the, the sign text, it's called place sign text. I've already filled in some text here. It's uh, the standard lorem ipsum placeholder text that you'll see basically anywhere someone is creating a website or whatever and, and needs some placeholder text. It's all Latin. Uh, it's, it's very common around the internet. If you've never seen it before, you'll probably see it at some point again in the future. So there's two different text flow directions. You can do left to right or top to bottom. So I'll do both here. I'll hit filter and I've selected the signs. If you hover over the signs now, we can see some Latin on there. Uh, the bottom right sign doesn't have any text on it. Uh, if I do the same thing over here, I'll select the signs again. Filter, I'll use top to bottom, text flow. And we can see the difference there when we go back into MC Edit, or back out of MC Edit. Uh, yeah, you can also use a color if you want. It has a list of all the colors. And it won't, you won't be able to fit as much uh, text on each line because the color code uses up a little, little bit of space. But there's that. Uh, the next filter is find and replace. So I'm going to go over to filter here, find and replace. I'm going to find notch and replace it with Seth Bling. Notice that it is it is uh, uh, case sensitive. So the capital N here on notch really matters. I hit filter and when I deselect we can see it says Seth Bling's chest, Seth Bling's furnace. Third filter I'm going to show you is uh, actually writes Python code to the console. So it's called Entity Code. And if I hit Filter, you'll see it spits out some Python code. It looks a little bit like this. I wrote this filter because I found that whenever I needed to create an entity using, uh, using Python code within a filter, it was kind of a pain to have to figure out all the fields that were required to create that entity. So this just spits out a bunch of the code. And you can just copy and paste it in, replace whatever you need to and make it all customizable. Uh, very useful if you're trying to write your own filter that involves creating entities or tile entities. This will work for either. Uh, the next filter is, is a very simple one. It's called get chords. And when you hit it, it, uh, it displays this little pop-up box that says what the coordinates of the box are. So this is just useful if, you're, if you want to fly around your map and MC edit it, because it's a bit faster to fly around and MC edit it and it'll tell you the exact coordinates of that bounding box. All right, so the last filter here is one that I just kind of wrote for fun. I don't even know why I wrote it. <laughs> it's a very silly one. It's going to flip all the structures in this selection. Whoops, that's not quite what I wanted. I hate when I miss the, the selection. All right, so I'm going to select a box here. Let's drag it up, make sure we have everything selected. I'm going to make it go into the ground a little bit too. Uh, Go over to filters, and this filter is called flip structures. I'll hit filter. Uh, this will actually take a little bit of time, even though the selection I have selected isn't too big. The algorithm is is uh, fairly processor intensive. It has to do a lot. It basically looks for all the structures, tries to figure out which of them are connected, and then it actually has to flip those. So uh, I'll just uh, I guess I'll just cut to when this is finished or that <laughs> that actually finished without me cutting. So uh, it, yeah, it took a little bit of time. For a larger selection, it, it's going to take even more. Uh, we can see all the structures are indeed flipped here. 
Even the trees over here are flipped. Let me actually go back into Minecraft. Let's hit save and, w and we'll head back into Minecraft and take a look at all this stuff. All right, back in Minecraft. Um, we can see all the Latin text here. This one's left to right. So lorem ipsum, etc. Illit is the second word here, or the first word on the second sign. You can see it's top to bottom on this one. So it goes like this. Um, there's two lines on the last uh, sign. Of each of them is just a different, different flow direction. But it, it breaks the words at the same place in each case. Yeah. So that's, that's really cool. That's really handy if you have a paragraph of text that you're kind of modifying as you go and you want to fit it onto signs. Uh, okay, so we have Sethling's chest, Sethling's furnace. That's all that's expected. We didn't actually do anything to the villager. All right, let's go over to the village. So here we go. <laughs> this, one's, this one's pretty silly. You can see it even uh, flips the stairs and everything. Uh, the farmland here looks quite, quite silly. Uh, what do we got? Oh, hey, here's a, a blacksmith. We can even see the lava in here. Nothing has updated those those blocks of lava, so... And there's a chest in here. If I open up the chest, you'll notice the chest still has its contents. contents. So even though the tile entity here is moved, my code took care of that. This pressure plate's kind of floating. It'll disappear if you touch it. Uh, yeah, so all the farmland looks kind of silly. All the buildings have been flipped. Even the trees have been flipped over here. Uh, some of the, I guess it uprooted some of the ground along with it. <laughs> um, it's just kind of an artifact of how it works. You can see the branches in this tree. Yeah, it, it's 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 a very silly filter, but I don't even know why I wrote it. <laughs> it's just kind of I felt like it'd be something cool to do. Yeah, it was it was kind of fun figuring out the the right algorithm to uh, to get all these things flipped. But it does take a while to run. So that's all I got for you. Again, you can download all these filters from the link in the video description. Again, well, as always, all of my filters are on my website, sethbling.com. So you can go over there and browse through all my filters. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so that's about it. Thanks for watching.